Good day people, welcome back to my YouTube channel Elliot Wave Principal. I'm your host Shine. Now I can see the uh, why a lot of uh, frustration is coming up uh, and in today's video I'm going to try to explain what the large picture I'm, s I'm looking at at gold and I'm explaining what different possibilities are as we go along in the f into the future into the future timeline what different ind indications are going to tell us where we are heading to the uh, as far as the long-term price analysis is concerned for gold it will also things uh, put things in perspective it will also help you to see right that right now why a 10 20 30 dollar price movement does not actually matter especially in these moments so and why i have been ignoring the 10 20 30 dollar price movement in recent weeks so if you have if you if you have been bearish, it's, it's gonna you're gonna like the content. If you have been bullish, it's gonna really ups, upset you. But stay with me so that I can help you out uh, see a different side of the picture. So a lot of uh, I have I have shown this chart lots of time, and uh, I'll help you what's happening actually. Uh, we'll look into deep analysis first of all. Forget about the small price labeling where it is now two possibilities are happening right at this point on a larger time frame on a weekly time frame i'm not talking about a, a daily time frame i'm talking about a weekly time frame there is the one possibility that is we have already created a bottom right over here in this case we can consider it as wave one and wave two and this either wave three or wave one of a higher degree or of a similar degree both things work because till we actually get the five wave structure we cannot confirm the degree of the wave so both things are possible in that case if this is wave one then you're looking for a deeper price movement way in this area right over here once again if you're considering this wave as wave one and this as wave two and another wave one and another wave two in that case we are considering ho a com another deeper price movement in, in this region and then probably a reversal other possibility is that we probably have not completed a correction right over here and that means that the correction that actually started right from the top of uh, in 2011-ish, 10-ish area, 11-ish area actually, is still going on and then we are going to see that complete soon. By soon it means very soon. Now there is a famous quote and that is that the 80% of the price movement would occur in the 20% of the remaining time. There's a special pattern in Elliott wave analysis is called expanded flat correction. Within the expanded flat correction, there are two variations. There is one variation in which wave C is shallower, a very slow down, and it occurs in a very, it takes a lot of time as compared to wave A. There is a second variation to uh, the pattern, and that's in that case, wave uh, C of the flat correction would occur very sharply it would surprise a lot of people and that's when a sudden uh, blow off to the prices occur in that case the 90 percent of the price movement would happen in 10 percent of the time so that's the difference we are we are looking at it so right now we can only look at the go with the flow structure as prices behave on a daily time frame we are going to decide whether the pattern is going to be a a flat correction and if it's going to be a flat correction then it looks like my research is telling me that if it's going to be a flat correction then you're going to be uh, looking at a very sharp price movement to or downwards if it is a wave one right over here and if it's wave two then we are going to see uh, the support levels act differently what different trend trend lines and different resistance areas are actually different uh, forces of buying and selling and the way they they react you can actually uh, get a clue from them which way the prices are heading or how strong the trend is going to be so the second chart which i'm showing you right now which assumes that we have not completed a correction right over here is going to upset a lot of people okay here's the second chart in this second chart i was made an assumption and i have reason for that and the reason is because i have I've been an electrician for a long time and I know how the flat corrections actually work, how different emotions work, how things seem totally different or you can call it in a regular analysis you can call it as a bull trap. And I believe things are actually heading that way. There, out of right now out of two possibilities, 
either price is going to go all the way fall down in this region and then we'll go over if that happens then this price downward is going to act differently and either the price is going to go fall all the way downward somewhere around 850 ish 900 ish area if that happens then of course the support area and the resistance areas are going to act differently in the one of my uh, previous analysis which i have become a little bit controversial where i have said that gold is going to drop suddenly on august 12th so that's going to happen we definitely are looking for prices a sharp drop down of prices in next two two and a half weeks to three weeks very quick and sharp price acting the reason i'm whole uh, i've been saying all that time is i'm considering this pattern as a leading diagonal i'm considering this whole pattern as wave one wave two uh, wave three right now wave four and wave five this gives us a leading diagonal and i'm considering this as wave a wave b and wave c this makes wave two on a larger time frame so this is basically wave one and wave two I'm expecting that the next price movement would be actually very sharp price movement and this is going to give us wave 3 completion and when that happens now there are two things happen if prices fall down and they find their support right over here let me have a look if I can help you if they find their support in this region if when prices fall starting from Monday Tuesday if they find their support right over here that means that our initial target is going to be somewhere around over here I mean the final target is going to be somewhere over here if prices can easily penetrate through this support area which has been very important support area that would mean that we are looking further down and it's going to be wave C the sharper wave C of the expanded flat and when that happens as I said all of that is very dependent on the underlying forces right now we do not have any method at least I do not have any method in my toolbox to tell me whether it's gonna be a uh, wave 1 and wave 2 deeper wave 2 or whether it's gonna be a uh, wave B top and then wave C top but both things are indicating bearish price movement that's for sure the reason is because we have seen a leading diagonal right and we have seen a correction we have seen a support coming back in and prices have been acting very normally now some of you guys who are actually I am myself a retail trader and a move of twenty dollar thirty dollars is a lot considering being considered a retail trader but when you're looking at the prices that they're gonna be uh, we are gonna expect prices to fall sharply uh, to about nine hundred dollar an ounce in that scenario a twenty dollar or thirty dollar price movement actually doesn't is negligible so you have seen the accuracy of the forecast that I'm kind of talking in a in a very uh, sluggish way when we are talking about uh, our stop loss and all those areas if you really want to enjoy the whole trend without any headache I have mentioned it many times and that is the stop loss should be right over here at over there if you want to be risking a lot of money on a small price movement and you want to be acting very abruptly or in a highly emotional state of mind and you want to put a lot of then you can put stop loss at third 1837 and I've mentioned it in my other analysis as well I hope so that this analysis will be able to help you see things in a better way uh, it'll also help you to look that I'm actually performing Elliott wave analysis I'm not just throwing my content away now if that happens and believe me the prices are coming down either they're gonna come in this region and reflect over right over here or they're coming all the way down over here if this happens all the way down we have very very bad news for GDX very very bad news I sp spent all morning today I'm constantly looking at the charts I'm going back in history and you'd be surprised I have mentioned one by one the different stocks that are included in the GDX actually three four I want to say all of them but I've seen this behavior happening very often than not all right especially with stocks with a miner if gold is bearish this much that means GDS is gonna be actually going to rock bottom so um, I wanted to give you a second perspective if you are a bullish and I wanted to give you a long-term perspective if you are a bearish already wish you good luck with your trading if you like the content please press thumbs up um, I don't mind the comment whether the positive negative whatever you want to say but when you just make sure don't hit me under the belt okay just please if you can do that I, I can respect you and hopefully you'll be able to respect me as well thank you once again have a good one and bye bye